this construction class. For today, we will be looking into our first light isometric drawing, isometric drawing. All right. So, isometric drawing is one of the family of our pictorial drawing. All right. So, under pictorial drawing, we have the isometric drawing, we have the oblique drawing, and also the perspective drawing. Yeah. Those are the three pictorial drawings we have in engineering. All right. So, isometric drawing is a drawing which is projected at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal, yeah. at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. For example, I'm having this kind of object, so these are my isometric axes, right? Yeah, so each of the angles here is what? 120 degree. This area is what? 120 degree. And this other area is what? 120 degree. But if I'm having a horizontal line here, all right? So the angle I'm having here is what? Yeah, here now is what? It's 90 degree. So why that angle is what is 30 degree. So any object I draw on this plate or this area or this area is known as is known as isometric drawing. It's known as isometric drawing. Alright. So we'll be looking briefly into uh, the two objects I'm having on the board here. So we'll be constructing this together and also this. They yeah, are using uh, the principle of, of isometric drawing. Alright. So let's start with the first one. So this very first one is a box here, yeah, a rectangular box here. Yeah. So the height is 10 millimeters, yeah, or one centimeter. Why uh, the width is what is 20 millimeter or two centimeter, and the span, yeah, so is what is 30 millimeter or, what, or three centimeter, right? So if I'm going to produce this, what will I do? My very first uh, process is to produce what an horizontal line. Yeah, I'm going to produce an horizontal line, all right? So after producing that horizontal line, the next step. The next step is to pick a T square. Sorry, pick one of your set square, right? Pick one of your set square. But in isometric drawing, just look up, everyone, look up, right? So these are the various set square we have in engineering, right? So this very first one is called a 30 60 degree set square. 30 60 degree in the sense that this longest part, yeah, this longest part is what? 30 degree. Why this shorter side is what? 60 degree. So 30 plus 60 gives what? Gives me a right angle, which is what 90 degree. All right, so why this second set square is the 45 degree set square? So the angle here, the angle here is what 45 degree, and 45 plus 45 gives me what gives me 90 degree. But in isometry, we will be using what the 30 60 degree set square. Yeah, we'll be making use of the what 30 60 degree set square because isometry is projected at what at angle 30 degree. All right, so just look. I've drawn the horizontal line, so the next step is to produce a uh, vertical line. To produce a vertical line, all right? That is the next step. Produce a vertical line, which is this. Yeah, so I've produced my vertical line. So after producing the vertical line, I'm going to draw my isometric plane. Yeah, I'm going to draw my isometric plane. Okay? So towards that side and towards these axis, all right. So after doing that, after doing that, so the very next step now, the next step is to actually pick my compass because I am doing this on the board so so as to get my dimensions correct, all right. So my height, my height here says what says ten. So this is my ruler, this is my ruler. I'm measuring what is ten, ten, all right. That's my height. This is ten now. So coming here. Striking what? Ten. That's my height. That's my height, all right? So the span here is what? It's twenty. Alright. So I'm going to come down here. Twenty. I'm going to pick my twenty. Alright. So this is my twenty. So coming down here, I mark it out. Alright, that's my twenty. Alright, so the span here to get here is what is thirty, as you can see. It's thirty. So I'm going to come down here and go and pick my thirty. Right, so after picking the 30, I'm going to place it here also and I'm going to strike it out. All right, so I already have my dimension. So with the use of this set square, I don't need to start measuring up and down. Exactly. So the next procedure is, is just look up and pay uh, attention to it. All right. So the next procedure is, is I am going to now start projecting. All right. So for example, now at this point here, point 20, I'm going to draw the vertical line. All right. After drawing the vertical line here, 
Okay, on this side, this is also a road road. The road divides that line here also. Alright, so after projecting that, so the height of the thing here, I'm going to project that one and amputate the view also. So every horizontal line, or every line that looks like a horizontal line, you can project that one as 30 degrees. As 30 degrees. So I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So what next? I'm just going to maneuver my my set here, and which is this. That has it. Then on this thing also. So I'm just going to finish this area. Out. So as, as you can see now, so I have the first isometric drawing here. I'm having my first isometric drawing, right? So for the standard isometric drawing, I need to put my dimension. So how do I put my dimension? If you just uh, look up, just look up. The last thing that is doing is being chopped off. Yeah, it's being cut off from there. So how do we develop uh, this particular one? Just look up. It is also simple. Yeah, very very simple. Okay, the first thing there is to what? draw your horizontal line, which is this. So after drawing my horizontal line, the next thing is what? I'm going to produce my vertical line. I'm producing my vertical line. All right. So after producing my vertical line, then I'm going to draw my isometric axis. Yeah, my isometric axis. Okay. Okay, so for the height at the base here is what ten. Why does that is what the strength? So coming down here, I'm going to keep my ten. As you can see, all right, this is my twenty. This is my twenty, all right. That was my twenty. Then I'm going to keep my ten also. I'm going to keep my ten. Okay, that's my ten. This is my ten. Yeah. Okay, that's my ten. On this part, I'm going to keep what my ten. That's my head. Then on this part, I'm going to be put my chain. So that's my chain. Okay. So take note of this. If you don't span from here to here, it's empty. And I will show that the HVA is 10. So that means my HVA is what is 20. So let me pick my 10 out of here. Alright. So and this is my 10. And this axis is also. So I'm just going to develop uh, the whole uh, stuff. I'm going to develop the line. So just follow me as I proceed. Ensure you make use of your T square. Yeah. Ensure you make use of your T square in conjunction with this S square so as to have a, a perfect drain. Yeah. So as to have a perfect drain. Right. So you are going to slide the T square under this, then place the set square on it this way. Okay? So let's that sink at the back of the line. Every line that looks like you know line will be drawn at what as 30 degrees. So just take it.
So I cannot what erase this pattern. I can erase this part, alright? I don't need this part anymore. I can erase this part. So what next? The next thing is this. So then I always remove what the unwanted thing that part of it, right? So you can see I have automatically produced what I've produced uh, this very product. So the next thing is what is to put the dimension. I'm going to put the dimension in now, right? So dimension in here is this thing, alright? So that is that about isolation. Then ensure you subscribe on my channel before doing that. Thank you.